Even in this village where we are right now, only 30% support the Donetsk Republic. 30% are for Ukraine and 30% are waiting to see who wins. The village was shelled by explosive shells not long ago by the so-called separatists. People here are terrified and very hostile towards us for one main reason. They believe that if we go away, then they won't be shelled anymore. See there? Part of the building is missing and the windows are broken. The roof is partly burned. Hi. Tell me if anyone suffered from the last shelling. One man died and one woman was injured in the arm. Did anyone die? A man died. He was standing there by the garage. The guys were playing cards with his friends. Can you tell me what's going on around here anyway? What do you think? <laughs> nope, I'm not going to tell you anything for television on camera. Because what's going on here is not for television. That's all I can tell you. If you don't say anything about it, nobody will know what's happened. You know, I still really want to live. You understand? I don't even want to comment that on the camera. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Right now all the exits are blocked off. You can leave the village only through the neighboring villages of Makiyuka and Karlivka. That's the corridor. Do you want to leave? Sure, but I don't have any money. If I had at least a thousand hryvni, I'd go away, honestly. It's scary. Have you seen all the destruction? Imagine, what if the next one hits you? But I want to live. I like to live at least five more years, honestly. Vanya, where was Belchik lying? Where was Belchik lying? Oh, there. There, he was lying next to that bucket. Here we see the result of a direct hit from a Grad missile. There always was a table right here, where people sat around and simply had breakfast. After lunch or breakfast, they usually went off to their own garages. But this place, which was not hit by the shrapnel, that's where Sasha always sat. All that's left of him now is a slipper and a bloody stain on the ground. Here, take it. It's yours. You knew the guy who died? Yeah, he was my buddy. This place is small and everyone knows everyone else. Can you tell me about the shelling? How did it start? Well, we were at home. Just finished dinner and thought to take a bit of a break. No, hold on. It wasn't then. There, I guess there's going to be shelling again. Tell me, what kind of war is this anyway? It's, it's about the money. It's all about money. The government just doesn't know how to share. Yeah, yeah, they want to share power, but they don't want to share. And ordinary people only suffer as a result. It was lucky, really lucky, that no one else was here when it happened. Otherwise, there would have been just Sasha, that maybe 15 dead guys. That's the way the cookie crumbles, a threefold curse on them all. The car, God willing, all fix again. Only this, I'm going to glue or patch it, if I live that long. I want my grandsons to see what was going on here someday. This looks more like mortar shelling. The windows blew out from the explosion, yep. So they're shooting from both sides? Uh, yes, from both sides. From one side it's howitzers and from the other side it's grads. They started knocking down things so bad that everything began to collapse. And over there. Hello, what channel are you from? We are not from a program, we're making a film. Well, where are you from then? We're from Kiev. I don't trust you if you're from Kiev. Whom do you trust? 
There's nobody I trust anymore. I don't care whether it's the next People's Republic or someone else. I respect your position, but you have to respect mine too. And I have one. I'm really angry with everything. How can they just come in like that to normal people who are living like this and not be bothered? They're not bothering anybody. And if they feel like it, they shoot. If they don't feel like it, they don't shoot. Or say, just knock down a building. Any idea what it's like to find yourself without a roof over your head? Who's going to put it up again? Who's going to help? You saw what the shells did on the other side? You filmed it? Do you want to see what we were being shot with? Let's go. I found this lying next to my gate. So tell me now, is this normal, you think, in the 21st century in a country like Ukraine? We also want Ukraine to be united. Is this normal? And this is hardly the only thing. Is this the basement where you were hiding? And this basement? This is exactly where we're hiding right now. It's where we sleep. May I see it? Of course. And this is where Vasa lives, and he has two kids. Actually, they left yesterday. One, two, three, four, five beds. How often do you have to hide in here? Heck, we're here down here all the time. Every day, guys, we're living down here. Aunt Luda, don't quarrel. These guys are filming a video. Don't fight. What good will it do? They're just journalists, not guardian angels who came to help us. Would you just please help that they don't kill us? We're normal people and we're turned into animals. We live like a bunch of animals. And we used to live normally with the West. We would travel to the resorts. Everything was completely normal. So what are they doing now? Bloody bastards. Look, I can see how they look at us. And I have the impression that they're completely unnecessary. That we're just the leftover trash of society that we should be killed, we should be destroyed, so that there's no one left of us here. And that's probably exactly what they're doing. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm going to show you where I live. And this is where I live, this is my gate. And behind that, that's where my car is parked. I would like you to film it. An explosion hit my garage. You can see what's left of my car. Look at the size of these holes. All I have to say to you, hey people, stop, think, think about what you're doing, come to your senses, think for a minute about what are you doing, what are we doing, people, how is this possible? If you want there to be a unified Ukraine, then stop, we need to resolve this situation somehow, but Ukraine won't be unified if this war keeps up, I can promise you 100%, because we are Donbass, we don't need to be put on our knees. You don't have to force us, because we're ready to meet you halfway ourselves, if you just act normal. What would you say to Vladimir Putin? Just your own thoughts. Who? Putin? Yes, to Putin. What am I supposed to say to him? Think about it. Tell him, Vasya, what do you think? I had to think for a bit, right? A big flag up his ass and something else in his mouth. Why did he take Crimea and not take Nova Russia, as he calls it? That's normal? That's not normal. To tell you the truth, I'm sick of being afraid. What happens, happens.
Our Blue and Yellow Independence Day has been in preparation for over 20 years. Ceremoniously and spiritually, Independence Day is like the birth of Christ for us. For in reality, this is the birth of a new Ukraine. Our friends, I greet you all with Independence Day. Glory to the armed forces of Ukraine. Glory to the people of Ukraine. Glory to the heroes of Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine.